Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today I'm going to be showing you how I finish off my aluminum foundry. Let's get right into it. I finally got all my materials for the furnace. Now I made a couple of little changes to the design um, and I'm going to show you what changes those are and why I did them uh, throughout this video. Now what I'm going to be using is the bottom of the furnace is actually going to be just I, I'm using a piece of uh, 1 8 steel and I have this quarter inch refractory insulation that I'm going to put on right here and that's 24 by 24 and the piece of steel is 26 by 26 and for the bricks I'm basically going to be just laying the bricks down and stacking the bricks I'm going to be using some stainless wire that's going to kind of hold everything together, but I'm not going to be using any refractory cement to hold this thing all together. Let's get into uh, laying down these bricks for the bottom of the furnace and I'll show you just how I do that. So the bottom of the uh, furnace, I'm going to be laying down these bricks and I'm going to stagger them. So I'm going to have to make a couple of cuts uh, for each one. And I'm going to come in about say three quarters of an inch on either side. And I'm just going to stack them down like so. And again, these are the soft bricks and you can see it shows uh, L23, which is uh, they're good for 2300 degrees Celsius. Uh, 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, because these bricks are so soft, it makes it very easy to cut. And you can just use a uh, wood saw blade in your miter saw or a hand saw for wood. Okay, so I have those there and I'm gonna have to do half bricks. So I need one, two, three, four, five of those. And I'll go and cut those and put them on. Okay, I got my pieces cut. Just gonna place them inside here. Okay, so now I have the bottom all together. And remember that piece that I cut off, the broken piece? Well, I'm gonna use that for the bottom of the um, crucible to actually hold up the crucible because we need to get heat from underneath also we can't let um, we need it to heat up evenly when we're uh, heating up this giant crucible to uh, melt aluminum so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of place it I had this thing set up kind of before. I'm going to put my crucible on top. Okay, that seems pretty sturdy. And that's going to allow the heat to go around it and underneath and keep it nice and steady. I might have to move this around a little bit while I'm putting on the first layer of bricks. Okay, that looks fairly in the middle. I'm going to show you what I'm going to change here with the burner, how the actual heat's going to come in. Now, I want to have the heat come in from the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this first brick here. And I'm going to cut this off so there's a straight brick here and it ends off here. 
and I'm gonna make a special burner I was gonna make a round burner but I want to make a little simpler so I'm gonna make a, a square burner that fits right inside this area so that flame is gonna come in and it's gonna rotate around and make it make its way out and hopefully that's gonna make a nice even heat for the crucible now I'm gonna start putting on the next layer of bricks So we have the lid on, the basic insulation, and before I start putting on the sides, I started cutting out some pieces, but I'm going to be working on designing a new ribbon burner now for this uh, foundry forge. So let's go in my office, we're going to design it, I'm going to print out a mold for it, and then we're going to put it together. So we got the prints off and it came out really nice and I already have the crayons in there so it is about a four inch by three and a half inch basically the size of one of the bricks so it's gonna fit inside the cavity I left there and before I get this ready uh, for the refractory cement I also want to get the actual piece that's going to be attached to it the steel part that my uh, my uh, gas fitting is going to be on and my inlet for the air this here is the mesh that's going to help cause turbulence to mix the air and that's going to go inside this um, mold and it's also going to attach or help uh, connect the steel part to the refractory cement and here i have the two sides the front and back and the actual lid that I'm going to be having my inlet tube for my air onto. So let's get all these welded up so then I can start pouring my refractory. Okay, so I have my pieces cut up like I mentioned and I'm going to set them up to start welding. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, square up this one side here. Just make sure that it's square and it's square with, with my nice uh, fixture table. Uh, if you haven't seen this build, that's a couple of videos back, we built this really nice fixture table. Really flat, really handy in the shop. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my other end here with my nice little magnet there, my little squaring magnet. Bring my other part in. It's going to be on the inside. And now that it's all in there, I'm just gonna make sure it's square on the other side. Okay, that's good. And we'll start off by fusing the tops. I'm gonna to use a TIG welder, but really you could do this any other way. Uh, stick, make. 
take it, I'm gonna flip it over and make sure that this side's lined up and then I can tack weld this together. place in my mesh and this I want to stick out at least uh, half an inch. Tack weld this on the inside also. I'm not going to do that. completely welded. So the welds look good and uh, you need a good weld because we don't want gas coming out so we don't want any pinholes or anything that looks looks good overall. We'll let that cool down and then I can uh, mix up some refractory. I'm gonna cry a little bit because I just made some of my grounds come out. Oh, it's not good. So obviously I'm gonna be drilling some of them out. So uh, I haven't done this mold before, so it's a little trial and error. So now that I have it in there and two crayons are broken, I'm gonna put my uh, refractory, well, my the cage of the actual ribbon burner on there and hopefully I don't break any more crayons. Okay. So today's been a good day. Um, finished off the majority of the foundry furnace and got right into the um, the actual burner and other than breaking a couple of crayons on turned out pretty good so I'm gonna let this cure and over the next few days and this week I'll get some other material to finish off this foundry furnace so thanks everyone for watching Bonifab custom and don't forget to subscribe and push that button for notifications for the upcoming videos for this foundry furnace.